The Minnesota DNR says a preliminary study shows that deer throughout Minnesota have been exposed to a certain class of insecticides. Members from the DNR hosted a Zoom call about their findings and reporter Nick Ursini was on that call to learn more. Members of the DNR shared their initial findings of the common pesticide known as neonicotinoids that were sampled in white-tailed deer throughout the state. We had about 800 uh, deer hunters who uh, actually submitted samples and uh, we recently got results back, uh, finding that, um, that about just over 60 percent of the deer that uh, were sampled, 60 percent of the spleens that came in had had evidence of neonics. The DNR says they went with a citizen science approach, which means they asked hunters throughout the state to submit deer spleens they caught to help the DNR with samples. Having a representative sample of of, uh, of spleens from deer in all these different types of habitats gave us a really f interesting first look at one, you know, can you, for one, can a hunter find a spleen, which they can, by the way, so that was good. We only had 3% of samples that came back that were non spleen so yay, awesome hunters. And, uh, and two, can you actually detect uh, these neonicotinoids, and we're looking for a metacloprid, in the spleen of deer in the wild. In addition to the Zoom call, the DNR also said in a press release, the Minnesota Department of Health believes there is likely little to no human health risk for consuming venison from deer that may have been exposed to neonics. They also released a map detailing where they took samples from. This is the state and all of the uh, designated deer permit areas, and shaded are deer permit areas that had a detection. And you can see in the parentheses the total number of samples that came from those areas and then uh, the, the ones that were actually detected. We had nothing submitted from the very far tip, right? But we did as we move uh, farther to the west to north central, you know, Grand Rapids and those areas had samples. And, and then uh, you can see we moved across the northwest and we had a predominant uh, higher number of samples in that central region also north metro um, and then into the into the southeast hunters who submitted samples will be emailed the specific test results from their deer reporting in Brainerd Nickersini Lakeland News the DNR says they're planning additional sampling this fall Lakeland News is member supported content please consider supporting Lakeland News today